All right, folks. Why is there a third box, you might ask? Well, new shop kitty. Um, right in the way, as usual. I'm trying to be cute. Let's look at this third box here. So we can go ahead and hit this little key right here. And it's going to fire up. Well, spin it up a little bit. <laughs> yep. We made it a router. So, um, yeah. So I wanted to see, because um, with the MyPlasm CNC controller, uh, you're limited on some stuff uh, with gerbil and uh, a lot of the other ones you have a ton of other settings and stuff that are in there for milling and other stuff that uh, we don't need for CNC plasma so um, this was a project that I'm doing for my aunt she's doing a fundraiser some kind of fundraiser for Parkinson's disease um, her late husband suffered from Parkinson's pretty bad and um, some kind of fundraiser anyway she needs a bunch of these little cows cut out uh, I don't this was cut out by hand and apparently what they're gonna do is go paint them up and make them all pretty sure um, I think this one is actually done backwards but basically they printed a piece of paper stuck it on this foam board and then cut it out with a blade knife and scissors to get the shape um, this is my rendition of it, the first one that I cut. So basically what I've done, I went online, I ordered a, um, oh, like 180 bucks. It was a head that came with the small variable frequency drive and a, I think it's a 600 or 750 watt head, uh, air cooled head. So, again, wasn't much. Um, $178, I think, for the kit. Whatever. I took the lid off the box. It's come with a remote mount front face plate uh, as an option. And um, I wanted to use it basically to keep the dust from the shop and other stuff out of the, the variable frequency drive. So, um, I took the lid off this stainless box, set it up there, measured it out with calipers, and drew it up in my mini CAD and cut it, the lid, or cut this hole out with the, in the lid with the, uh, with the CNC plasma. Pretty nice because it fit perfect. Didn't have to deal with cutting stainless. Worked out pretty good. Uh, it's a very simple, simple variable frequency drive and uh, motor. It's literally three wires coming in, your hot, your neutral, and your ground. And then three wires going out, uh, going to your, your motor to control each pole. Um, now I used a Picatinny rail off of a gun uh, on the main Z axis. And I had to gain a little bit more height, so I just put an adapter that I had laying around for a gun. Um, and then used half of two scope rings. Drilled a piece of aluminum plate, scope rings bolt to the plate, motor bolts to the plate. I have a functional Z axis, and then because this wire is hanging out here in the ether because it's temporary, but you don't want to have to undo the cable chain every time and take the torch out, I just put another small, um, yeah, um, Picatinny rail up there on the top to be able to mount the torch head to stationary and it's out of the way this you can unplug right here so i will put this wire inside the cable chain and route it i wanted to get my proof of concept down first to make sure everything was going to work properly um we're obviously still tuning um it came with one it's an er11 collet and it came with an uh eighth inch and all of my end mills are quarter inch and bigger uh, shaft even the eighth inch cutting side still has a quarter inch shaft so uh, this one is one that is actually used for a dremel tool uh, and it ended up working pretty good um, 
so essentially how I made it work you see how it's all bolted up at least mechanically now we'll come back around here and let's see if we can oh, wrong way sorry so on the my plasm controller I went into settings turned off the omic sensor and waiting for arc sensor uh, probably didn't have to do the waiting for arc I could have left it on but right here you can switch the the torch off and then I cut my speeds way down and actually 35 is a little bit fast it needs to be probably around 28 uh, inches a minute and then my floating height I changed up to pretty much all the way up at the higher end limit of the z-axis um, yeah and that's it it still works the same way I take it and lower it down until the uh, cutting bit is in the I got a uh, one inch sacrificial board uh, foam board under it so I just took the cutting bit and lowered it down until it just punctured into the sacrificial board and then came over here and hit uh, Z equals zero so that set my zero height um, once I did that then it was just a matter of turning the torch off with this button right here which that kills your torch uh, moving over setting the position loading the file in changing my cutting speeds and my floating height and I'm gonna save these settings um, for the for cutting the foam board um, so all I have to do is come over here and hit run uh, and start this and it's got a uh, potentiometer to control speed uh, up to I think 12,000 RPMs um, you can go through and adjust all the parameters with these keys here but once it's set you pretty much you're done it's gonna be where it's at um, so in a nutshell when you turn the torch off right here it'll still run the path it'll still drop the head down to the correct height it does everything but fire the torch so by doing that um, once I had the motor spun up the the motor spun up then it drops it down and then starts cutting and um, again your your speeds your um, are gonna be the ones that that hurt you the most um, you'll have to do a little bit of figuring on that and the other thing was I had the um, I, I had the this whole setup a little bit high so you, these, this black in here that you can see was actually the mount dragging the, the surface of the board while it was cutting but uh, it's still far better than a hand cut out you um, you get the definition in the hocks you get the definition in the tail um, versus this one you just don't get hardly any definition even in the ears don't look that good compared to uh, right there so um, that being said uh, it's a pretty easy way I, I want to experiment with it a little more I would like to say you'd be able to cut thin uh, thin board with it wood with it um, but I don't know I haven't done enough with it um, I ordered a collet set I'm waiting on that to come in and I ordered some other end mills that are more set for cutting stuff like foam board and uh, cardboard and wood and stuff like that so anyway it's just a secondary use for a CNC plasma table that was very easy to set up and uh, well yeah if you guys got any questions shoot them to me in the comments I love it when you guys uh, actually leave comments um, I'll respond back to every one of them check them constantly and uh, I appreciate the support, man. I really, really do. You just don't know how much I appreciate it. But uh, other than that, man, I greatly appreciate it. And stay tuned for the next one.